Hello, everyone. I'm Father Cooper, and this is Lucy. And welcome to another episode of Cooking with Father Cooper, our saintly summer series. Today we have a special saint, Saint Therese of what? Lazou. Lazou. Saint Therese of Lazou, and she was French. We can tell that by her name. So Saint Therese is also known as what? The Lucy? little flower. The little flower. You know why? Because she believed, like many of the Carmelites, that all of us are part of God's garden. And Saint Therese is known because she did little things with great love. And so today we're making a Saint Therese. How do you pronounce this? This is a hard word. Char charcuterie board. A Saint Therese charcuterie board. Because for Saint Therese, she lived in a religious community, and so she did her little acts of love and service with the religious sisters there. And so this board is meant to be shared by the whole family as something very, very delicious. So we're going to talk about this little flower, and guess what? We're going to make. We're going to make a flower. A flower, particularly something that looks like a what? Rose. So we have okay, salami and pepperoni here. Yep. And we need what? Two glasses. And you can do the pepperoni, and I'll do the salami. So you're going to take a glass, and you're just going to take your salami or your pepperoni, whatever you're using, and about halfway mark, you're going to just place it over the glass. Whoa. You just want to make sure you get it about halfway so that both sides hang over each side of the glass. And it's going to make something beautiful for the Lord because St. Therese said in very little ways. And you do it until it's all done with them. And so we're going to make a little flower. Yep, a little, little flower. And it's going to be beautiful. I know. It kind of really looks like a rose. I know. It really does. It really does look like a rose. And just as St. Therese did little things with great love, so too are we called to do little things with great love. And so you can prepare this for your family as a way of doing little things with great love. Whoa. All right, so now, Lucy, we have our meats, our salami, yep. and our pepperoni, they're all in our glasses, so now we're going to start creating our charcuterie board. And the thing to remember about a charcuterie board is it means that it has bite-sized pieces. And so just as St. Therese did acts of love in those little ways, her little ways, so too we're putting together this board with bite-sized pieces so that we can share it with our family members and friends. And so when you design this, you can work together and you can be as creative as possible because it's there to represent great love by just doing little things for the Lord. Yep. And so now it's time to do what? We have to flip over these glasses to create a what? What are we creating here? A rose. A rose. So we're going to flip over these glasses very carefully. And then it'll turn into a rose. And it'll turn into a rose. That's beautiful, huh? And so we have one. And then we have a red rose. And a red rose is two. And then another pink rose. And another pink rose. And so now we're going to have our fruit that we're going to add to the charcuterie board. Remember, St. Therese, it represents the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And one of the things that we have is our, what is this? Grapes. Grapes. Now we leave in our grapes connected. Because remember, Jesus says that I am the vine and you are the branches. And so we always want to remain connected to Jesus. We've got our strawberries. It sort of looks like the sacred heart of Jesus. Um, and we have some, what do we have? Some tangerines that have already been cut up. So the sweetness of God and the sweetness um, as we make the charcuterie board. So we can begin to place our fruit, Lucy, into the charcuterie board. There we go. And just have fun with this. You can place it anywhere you would like. Certainly remember that if you, while Lucy's doing that, if you have young children, you may want to chop up some of the uh, fruit or especially like some of the grapes um, so that it's not a choking hazard. So we have a few that's chopped up here. I'm just going to put this right here on the side so that we have some for our even little guests. And so we also have some pears that we can use. And since St. Therese was so in love in, with Jesus, her and Jesus made a beautiful pear. And so we want to make sure we have pears on our charcuterie board. 
Um, and so all of these are the great fruits that God has provided. They're also the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And so we are continuing to put on our fruit. And let me grab a few of our pears over here. And they are nice and green. And they're nice and green. And so while Lucy's continuing, we're going to put all of our fruit on the board. I'm going to take some crackers here. And these crackers represent certainly uh, bread. And so we have the Eucharist, which is the bread of life, and our food for the journey. So we want to make sure we have some crackers on our charcuterie board. And make board. sure it's like filled up. So we want to, that's it. We want to make sure it's all filled up. Yep. With and all that's the how you yummy make it. things of the Lord. I'm going to grab this last pair. There we go. Then you can like probably like scoot some over. So we're going to scoot so some we over because we've got so a lot of some... things that we got to put on this board. Yeah, we do. And so just as the fruits of the Spirit are overflowing, uh, so certainly our charcuterie board is overflowing uh, with God's love manifested in our life. And so we have all of these wonderful fruits. We can put some over here. A few more fruit. Because we have to keep growing. Like, we still have more fruit. the cheese. One more fruit. That needs to go in. Last one. Okay. No more fruit. No more fruit? All right, so we are putting Whoa. in our cheese. So we have some yummy mm -hmm. goat cheese that we're going to put in. And we also have different kinds of cheese. So we have uh, pepper jack, we have Colby, we have Swiss, and I think we have cheddar of all of our different kinds of cheeses that we and have. And my favorite one on here is really the baby Swiss cheese. Baby Swiss cheese. How are we, I, how am I gonna fit on the other? We have Probably some Cooper pistachios. Pistachios were in the Garden of Eden, so we've got to have pistachios. Uh -huh. So we're gonna put. Let's put a big pile of pistachios right there. All right. And while Lucy's getting the pistachios out, we also have some pretzels because remember the pretzels is traditionally said to be have made by a monk to represent praying hands and the importance of our prayer. And so certainly St. Therese's prayer was a very important part of her life, so we want to make sure that we have some pretzels okay. on our charcuterie board. That's probably enough. We have finished. And so this here represents the glory of God and all the delicious things, very small things, but as St. Therese, she did little things in a little way in order for us to be able to follow her little way so that we too may get, uh, become closer to the heart of Jesus. And so we have our charcuterie board with our roses here uh, in a diagonal line. We have our fruit for the fruits of the spirit. We have our crackers representing the bread of life, the Eucharist. We have our cheeses, the milk and, and honey. Of the pistachios. Um, of the promised land, our pistachios, which was uh, found in the Garden of Eden. We have our pretzels that represent our prayer hands. Uh, that are here. So we have all these wonderful things that we can enjoy together as a family because St. Therese did her little things with her religious community and that is even why she's called the patron saint of the missions. She didn't even go to the missions but she was able to reach out to people in little ways where she was. And so my friends, each of us can reach out into, in little ways to our family members, to our parents, to our siblings, to all those around us, our classmates, so that we can become something beautiful for the Lord. Doesn't that look delicious, Lucy? All right, and so now we're going to enjoy our charcuterie board with all of our family gathered around the table. We have our special guest, Margaret. Margaret, how are you today? You enjoying that? You got that pretzel in your hand, our prayer hands. And so we're going to enjoy this together. And so we hope that you enjoy this with your family as well. So Lucy, what is the first thing you want to eat? I really, really think a pear. Okay. Have a pear. There we go. And I will take a mm. piece of cheese. Mm, 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 mm. Baby Swiss.
so as we close, I say I'm Father Cooper and this is Lucy. And we say together, Bon Appetit. Next time, everyone. God bless. Can't wait to explore more fun recipes like this? Subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find more episodes of Cooking with Father Cooper, access our full library of inspirational homilies, and so much more. Divine Mercy Parish, loving mercifully, living Marian. Thank you.